Good evening, campers, and welcome back to Stellaris. I'm Commander Exorcist, and today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I've actually never done something like this on my channel, but I felt like it was a little bit necessary given the state of the game and a decision that I've made on the channel moving forward. So, when I started doing Stellaris content about a year and a half, two years ago, um, it was pretty well received and um, had a few viewers. It's obviously never really been some of my most popular content, but the problem with that is I do a lot of Let's Plays. And in this day and age, Let's Plays can be a little bit of a challenge to attract an audience. There's a very specific kind of niche audience uh, that still watches Let's Plays, especially for 4X games like Stellaris. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not, I have no illusions about the difficulties of gaining an audience for a game like Stellaris. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I really did. I started making stories and kind of interacting with the universe. It has a very vibrant community. It still does. It has some really cool people. And, you know, just started kind of trying to build my own reputation and my own um, set of ways with the game. And so I enjoyed it. I really did. But over time, Stellaris has really changed. And it's changed to the point that I feel like it's just not really practical for me to keep making content on this channel and potentially on any of my social media channels. I haven't made that decision yet. But I want to talk a little bit about the game and give some some criticism, to be honest. Um, I think that there's some fair points that I'd like to make about the state of Stellaris, where it's at, where it's been, and where I'm afraid it's going to go. So this shouldn't be a very long video. Um, it's not going to be a rant, oh, woe is me, that's really not the point. I just really kind of wanted to share some of my thoughts and feelings because I have many, many, many hours in this game uh, making content and playing it by myself. And so I felt it was necessary to really kind of talk about, you know, where Stellaris has brought me and some of the reasons that come Thursday of this week, um, it will be the last content that I create for Stellaris on this channel. Now the first thing I want to talk about is Galactic Paragons. In my opinion, this is the point where Stellaris really started to fall apart. So Galactic Paragons was a recent update to the game back in the middle of 2023. And the DLC, to be honest, is really difficult to talk about because it's one of those DLCs that you can have in your game and not even know that it's there. So in the update that came with Galactic Paragons, they introduced a new feature called the council now what you're seeing on the screen is a screenshot from a recent playthrough that i did and this is the council for your empire everyone gets this and so prior to this update you had access to a large pool of leaders scientists and other people that you could hire to run key parts of your empire whether it's commanding fleets or being governors of planets or doing research. When this update came out, it cut away all of that and it gave us this council. Not only did it give us this council, it actually limited the number of leaders that we were able to play in the game at a specific time, limited it to 10. So imagine having 10 people available to run an empire that spans the galaxy. This was huge, I hated it. I voiced my concerns on the Paradox forums and in a couple other places and me and a few others that really had issues with it. I say a few, it was a lot. It was extremely vocal, the dissatisfaction with this. Um, we were brushed off. Nobody seemed to care because the solution to it is to buy the Paragons DLC because without Paragons, you get access to only three of these council positions. If you pay for the DLC Paragons, you get the other two council positions and so supposedly the leaders are much more powerful have much more skill and you can do everything that you need to do in your empire with just 10 people and so um, but it was broken it really was broken it wasn't wasn't well designed it wasn't well fleshed out when it came out and those of us that kind of brought that to their attention we were just rebuffed they told us to basically shut up we were going to fix it and they didn't fix it. What they ended up doing is creating a leader cap for each category. So we still have a cap. And what it does is when you go over the cap, you get penalties. So you get upkeep penalties. So it costs more to keep 
these leaders employed. And so this was the part where I really had a heartburn because what was happening is we were gaining these really terrible systems and the only way to get around them was to buy DLC to counteract them. And it really didn't do much. And especially the Paragon's DLC, uh, the one you're seeing right now, I have played hundreds of hours with this DLC loaded and I've only seen two Paragon leaders that have come up. So it's just ridiculous to pay that much money for something and really all it does is it unlocks the additional two council positions for me. The next issue I have is pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back and it's the changing of the game's systems. And so what's been happening is over the past few years, Paradox has been working to kind of retool and redesign a lot of the base systems that are in Stellaris. Now some things when it came out, yes, it definitely needed work. Going back to Stellaris 1.0, it's a wreck. But, you know, it had kind of a sweet spot that it hit around the time that um, Toxoids and Overlord had come out. And then they started messing with some of these systems. And what has happened recently is you get these systems that Paradox messes with, they make them overpowered, whether it's intentional or unintentional, I don't know. But they make them overpowered. And then the community complains, and then they go in, and they either nerf them without really getting input from the community. What they're listening to are people who play the beta on Steam alone. Just Steam. There are players on GOG. We get nothing. You get no input whatsoever. You can post in the forums, good luck. Somebody might read it. But you get this feedback, and a lot of those folks are min-maxers, people who play multiplayer, people who have certain specific builds that they run all the time. And then we get something like this. This is the starting selection of sliders. And you can see the scroll bar there. This is just the top. It keeps going down and down. And the recent one that just really burned me is the technology and tradition cost changes. So they felt that the game was going too fast. So you know what they did? They took out the ability for us to upgrade our technology at a reasonable speed. Well, they knew that people were going to be upset with that, so they added a slider to it. It's ridiculous that a lot of this stuff is being done. They're trying to please too many people. And what's happening is we're getting just this monstrosity. It's a Frankenstein monster of a game. And with this, you cannot practice. You can't get experience with a lot of these systems because tomorrow they're going to change. You're gonna get an update and it's not a stability update. It's a complete rework of the system. Everything you know about technological advancement or traditions is gone and changed, cut in half even more so. And it's ridiculous, it really is. And it's frustrating because with a game like this, you know, there needs to be a sense of stability and there really isn't. And that's the reason that, one of the main reasons um, that I'm calling it quits for creating uh, content for this game on the channel. Now that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop playing. I actually enjoy it. Um, it is fun to play, but it is so hard to make reliable content and playthroughs for this game or even talk about it because what I'm talking about today, maybe tomorrow, might not even exist. And it's just really frustrating and it's really sad to see because a lot of these systems are, are out of balance and so you have a game that is almost eight years old that is still getting quote unquote updates but what they are is they're complete reworks of these systems and it's destroying the game. It's destroying how we play. And so every time you open Stellaris, you, you're gonna have to learn a new system. You're gonna have to relearn uh, the way that you play the game. And it's just, it's disappointing. It really is. And obviously I'm not alone in my concerns for the state of Stellaris. This game has list, been listed at mostly positive or very positive for a long time, but it has recently gained a mixed review and Paragons is, has its deserved mixed review. I believe that was negative at one point, but it's come up over time. And then the massive stinker that was Astral Planes is very negative, mostly negative, and well-deserved because it is a scam. 
uh, the amount of money that they're charging for that, which is basically a bunch of text boxes. It is a watered down version of Ancient Relics. And I know there's some people out there that will defend this DLC to the death, um, but it is not worth what they are charging for it. And so, you know, I am just really, really sad at the state of this game. And I don't blame the Stellaris development team exclusively. Uh, I think we're seeing this across the board with Paradox. All you have to look at is City Skylines 2, and that's it. All I need to say is City Skylines 2, and if you know anything about the launch for that game, um, that should pretty much tell you where we're standing with Stellaris. And so I, I'm afraid that a lot of the policies and, and expectations from upper management in the company is pushing a lot of the same things on uh, product lines like Stellaris, and so this is kind of what we're stuck with. But I don't want to go too long on this. I'm going to wrap it up. But I did want to say that I have really enjoyed Stellaris. I still enjoy playing it to a certain degree, um, but it really takes a lot of effort for me to load up and play the game because um, I never know what I'm going to be playing tomorrow. It's really just a chaotic thing at the moment, and I don't think that it's stable enough and reliable enough to continue making content on the channel. Obviously, there's not a lot of people that was watching it anyway, and I'm afraid that that's kind of a symptom of things going around. There's a lot of Stellaris content that's kind of down over YouTube, and it's just kind of where we're at. I hope that at some point the game sees a resurgence in this kind of stuff, and I hope that it finds some stability. I'll be uh, cheering on Paradox. I hope that they kind of find their way, and if they do and the game gets some stability back, then I may start playing and creating more playthroughs. But at this point, um, we are going to call it quits for Stellaris on this channel. So the final episodes of Stellaris, of any Stellaris content on this channel, will premiere on Thursday. And you might, you will sense my frustration in this playthrough because I'm releasing two videos that will conclude the Seabeck Anomaly playthrough. I was very excited to do this playthrough and it ends in one of the biggest disappointments I think I've ever had on this channel. You'll sense it, you'll hear it, you'll know it. And it probably will make this video make a lot of sense and why I decided to create it. So um, I know that not everyone's going to going to agree with me, and I appreciate that. There's maybe some people out there that absolutely hate this, but um, I think that it's important that we be balanced and truthful. I love Stellaris. I think it's a fantastic idea. I have loved it, and I'm really disappointed in the way that it's going. I'm really disappointed in the way that Paradox is managing a lot of their products at the moment. And it's just DLC after DLC that to unlock basic features or nerfing features and requiring us to pay to unlock them. It's it's just a terrible business practice that is unsustainable because gamers are catching on and um, we're gonna start hanging up. We're gonna stop playing, we're gonna stop paying and it's just, that's just how things are. There'll always be somebody out there that will buy but uh, some of us are just gonna say goodbye. All right, hey everybody, thanks for watching and I appreciate your attention and your support throughout the years as we did Stellaris on this channel and uh, my stuff will stay up so I hope you maybe go back and check out some of the playthroughs that I did and the old stuff some really cool cool uh, playthrough is very dramatic things so um, again thanks for hanging out with me tonight I'm Commander Exorcist take care fly safe and I will see you out there good night everybody